thanks again for joining us. Welcome back. And today we're talking about the skimmer, which you can see here I'm uh, taping off so I can spray paint all the ugly gray bits because I'm crazy. But you know what? <laughs> You've got to be you. Uh, go big or go home, as they say. So skimmers are what I consider to be a, a kind of fundamental baseline element in your reef tank filtration. You can absolutely do a reef tank without one, uh, but they are extremely useful for exporting uh, dissolved organics and even particulates in a very, very efficient way. So I really do believe in skimmers. This is an external model, which is fed from this pump here. And I actually had to build a stand for it because initially it was <laughs> siphoning when I would turn off the pump, which is kind of an interesting fluid dynamic uh, thing that I hadn't really considered. And this is a little bit underrated for my system of 900 gallons, and that's because I'm also going to be having some filter rollers on it. So I wanted this to be able to act as efficiently as possible. It's 12 inches in diameter, and it's driven by an AC needle wheel pump, which is a little bit louder than I would like, but it creates this great frothy foam, which does a great job. And I added this quick disconnect, so when I take off the neck and cup for cleaning, it just makes things easier. If you've never considered using an external skimmer, I would highly suggest them. They are a lot more flexible and tunable than in some skimmers. You can adjust the water flow into them based on your filtration needs, and because they have a separate pump generating the bubbles, they tend to work a lot better and a lot more efficiently. So here's the skimmer after about a week with some great sludge collection up there. And the reason I love external skimmers is not only because I think they're intrinsically better than in some skimmers, but also they're very much more adaptable to when and how you take stuff out of the water. So for instance, I turn this skimmer off for about six hours at night when I'm feeding the tank. And because it's external, I don't need to worry about uh, water level changes in the sump or anything like that. It just makes it a breeze. And if you think you don't have the space for an external skimmer, you can actually run one submerged in your sump, just like a regular in-sump skimmer, and get all the benefits of an external skimmer without the space constraints. So short video today. Thanks again for joining us, and happy reefing. We'll see you next time.